What's up fellas? I'm just doing a little calibration on my oil pump today. One thing after another is happening. I'm gonna see how much flow I get at one minute with that needle set parallel to the discharge line. Actually, it looks like I'm off of here. Yeah, you are. Jeez, dude. Parallel. Yeah, so as I've said, this test is killing me, man. I'm, I'm not fair and well. I should start over right now. That was a ridiculous run. The needle was off. Or maybe it's just bent. Hard to say. Coming up on 48 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to have to run this again. But uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put some marks on this gauge. And show you guys what this thing can do. It would appear that we are observing the flow rate of 50 milliliters per minute, which is the right about the target flow rate for most oil burners that are small. Oh, we're going to pass it up a little bit here. Yeah, not by much. Right there. Definitely not a very scientific procedure diving for the valve with camera in hand, but this is, uh, I'm gonna get a, a data set. Don't worry, man. I'm compiling a data set. I'm probably gonna do this maybe two more times. Temperature is very important on uh, determining this. I'm gonna have to write down on the side of the container the temperature because uh, if this stuff gets a little hotter or colder, that flow rate's gonna change drastically. So. You see here I have flow readings at 60 PSI's. I will also have to write uh, at 70 Fahrenheit, which I have not done yet. And I sure hope I didn't use this marker for that. Hard to say. So that's uh, where I am at this. But that was real close to what four liters an hour looks like. If you ever wondered what a gallon an hour looks like, you can see that that was real close. And that was at this little gauge mark I'm about to put right here. I'm kind of reluctant to put it there because it's not true yet, but uh, I'm definitely not a, a watchmaker, that's for sure. So I'm going to try this a couple more times. And any of you guys have seen this pump video that I posted and you're interested to know the flow rates and this and that, uh, definitely very easily calibrated to precise amounts. It's Pretty cool little device for dosing too. I was doing some little tests with that. You can control almost exactly the amount of fluid you put in a beaker with this thing by tweaking this. It's pretty cool. I could set it like right at the millimeter mark that I wanted. At any rate, um, I'm gonna get this calibrated. I'll get some marks on here. And um, once it's done, I'll show you guys what I came up with. Probably not gonna go too far with the gauge. Uh, Cause like I said, anything over two gallons an hour is way too much for my steam device and my oil burner. So for the sake of anyone who might want to build one of these, I, I will probably dial it up a little bit more and put a few more marks on there in case you were uh, planning on running a very large forge or something. But at any rate, at that rating we just seen, this thing should run for three hours. So there you have it. Let's see what happens. One cool thing that to note you were watching about 40,000 watts of power that is the energy release of this little nozzle right here 40,000 watts isn't that pretty cool just a cool thought definitely very interesting so yeah let's see what we got here That was right at a minute. One minute is giving me 60 milliliters. In my life, we go 60 milliliters times 60 minutes per an hour gives us 3,600 milliliters divided by 1,000 equals 3.6 liters per hour. So maybe that wasn't quite... Uh, 40,000 watts. Yeah, actually that is right still around 40,000 watts because 
four liters an hour, I believe is like 46,000 watts. So after an extremely long battle, that's what I came up with guys. That is the flow rates of this pump. I'm not going to bother graduating this any further. It appears that um, every five degrees is about uh, one liter per hour. So just an update on this pump. If you haven't seen the first video on this pump, basically what we have here is a pressure reservoir that is uh, pressured up to 135 PSI that is connected to a pressure regulator, which is connected to the tank. So I can run the tank at a very specific pressure and um, produce a very specific flow rate, a constant flow rate, most importantly. It's very hard to pump small amounts of fluid at a decent pressure without spending a lot of money. The power control systems and all that, just the price starts really going up. You buy the motor for 50 bucks, then you've got to buy a PWM, then you've got to buy a voltage supply for 12 volts or whatever it is. It just it keeps adding up, and this is the cheapest way to do this I've discovered. It, this, you're looking at about uh, 60 bucks for the whole package right there. So, don't know how long this pump's gonna last. But at any rate, I just thought I'd show you guys me uh, calibrating this thing. I don't have anything going on at the moment other than this experiment, and I had to do this to get ready for this experiment because we now know if I run this at 4.2 liters per hour, that's right around 43,000 watts of thermal energy that that system's um, operating at, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm done calibrating this thing. We can now get down to this test, which is going to be pretty cool. My little halogen bulb um, inline heater.